Okay, so we're supposed to find uh, the uh, real and the imaginary components of uh, W, uh, uh, which is a function of Z. So this is W as a function of Z. And of course, um, as we know, uh, <coughs> Z is a, a complex function, X plus IY. And uh, I'm supposed to find out what u as a function of x, y uh, as a real part and v as a function of x, y being the imaginary part will this w of z be composed of or broken down to. Okay, so I'll take this x plus i, y and I will plug it there. So I will get w, z is equal to uh, so uh, I will replace the z with, with x plus i, y. So x plus i, y plus i over i, y minus i. Now the problem is I have i in the denominator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to group these this and I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominators so that I can eliminate that I uh, so let's see how we're going to do this so this is x plus i y plus i or actually wait so we don't have to rationalize twice we can collect first the real parts with the real parts the imaginary parts with the imaginary parts so here we get plus i into y plus 1 and then the denominator if I factor out the i I will get y minus 1 i okay so this is uh, and then now I can multiply by the conjugate of the denominator so I can eliminate the y from the denominator so uh, this is multiplying by uh, x plus or x minus uh, y minus 1 i so that's the complex conjugate of this guy and then of course I have to do it on top as well y minus 1 i okay and these are brackets here okay let's see what this gets us so uh, this is equal to so if I were to continue here, see what this is equal to. So the denominator becomes the difference of two squares, of course. So this is x squared minus y minus 1 times i, all squared. Mm -hmm. And uh, on top, uh, we have, uh, we're just gonna have to foil it so uh, what do we get here so x times x is x squared uh, x times this other one here we have plus or minus uh, x y minus 1 times i <clears throat> so we foiled this guy on this and now we're gonna do this with this and this with this so plus uh, x y plus 1 times i minus uh, y plus 1 y minus 1 times i squared and we know that i squared is minus 1 okay so now let's go ahead and simplify so the top becomes uh, We have uh, this guy here is a minus 1, so then I would get x squared minus and minus is plus, so I can collect these two together. And y plus 1 times y minus 1 is just y squared minus 1. It's the difference of two squares. And I'm going to factor out the i from these two terms here. So I will get, trying to split it into real and imaginary. And if I factor out the i, I will get x y plus x that's from this term here and then I will get minus xy plus x from the second term 
and this all multiplies the i. See my x y plus x minus x y plus x. This guy here is from this term here. Okay. And then on the denominator, I will get x squared minus y minus 1 squared times minus 1, because i squared is minus 1. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 1 over the denominator, which will be x squared plus y minus 1 squared that's the real part plus uh, these two guys go away and I get 2x over the same denominator x squared plus y minus 1 squared and i so this is my w and so uh, this guy here is my real part which is u of xy and uh, this guy here multiplying the i is my v as a function of xy so i would have found my real part and my imaginary part Uh, yeah, so we're able to write this complex function as uh, two, one real part and an imaginary part. Uh, this is the real and this is the imaginary.